have, the boat came with a big bilge pump. It's called Grand Deer. It's kind of an Edson knockoff and can't get parts for it anymore that we know of. Um, so we got an Edson um, diaphragm rebuild kit for it that kind of fits. Rich is going to have to modify it a little bit, but it never worked and we didn't really know why. And then we took it out. We took it out of the boat years ago and then we didn't um, actually take it apart. And then we, when we did take it apart just recently, we found out that the, the flappers, valves and everything were all corroded. So they weren't working obviously. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. So what we decided to do was we are going, we are going to use a uh, weak acid. So we have muriatic acid over there. It's just pool acid that you get. It's 14 and a half percent. Um, and we've diluted that by a lot. Um, this is like a uh, eight to one mixture in this bucket right here. And then I just did a little test run on this piece, which is a control arm. It looks like it's cleaning up. Okay. You can see over here, um, a lot of this stuff that we need to clean. It's all corroded. Um, the inside of that is pretty corroded. That's the big piece right there. That's the whole body. Um, we've got this strainer, which we don't even know we're going to use, but I'll clean it up anyway. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. And hopefully I won't um, burn myself with acid. I also have a bag of baking soda over there so I can neutralize everything and a bucket of water over here. So the finished products can go in there and be neutralized. All right. So now we're trying to, Jenny cleaned up a while, a while ago, Jenny cleaned up a uh the old bilge pump. This is our big manual that sits in the floor. And it's Grand. Some, some Taiwanese knockoff. That was a Grand Deer. Of an Edison. Yeah, Edson. Yeah. Grand Deer. Yeah. Taiwan knockoff. Bronze casting. Everything's bronze. We got a new Edson diaphragm kit with flappers and check valves to be installed. So we're going to we're going to work on putting this thing together and see what happens. Look at this. It looks like some of these parts aren't exactly tapped out for the exact replacement diaphragm. Look at that. I'm going to have to we're going to do some customization. When we took the uh, uh, old parts off the bilge pump, these uh, all these flappers and stuff are shot. They weren't making a good seal. You couldn't pump anything with it. Um, we bought the new Edson kit. And the only thing is, is that this is a replica of an Edson bilge pump. The diameter and everything's the same. Most of the rubber parts are very similar. It's open, but where the holes go for the bolts and the mounting hardware for the uh, check valves and things don't line up exactly with the Taiwan casting that came with, from Grand Deer from Tiana. So now we're just trying to. In the. Oh yeah, the, and in here, the these thing. bolts just popped off. They just were sitting soaking in salt water, and the bronze just. They probably weren't bronze bolts. They were probably brass, like red brass, and that's why it's just turning to powder. So what's our game plan? What are we gonna try to do? Uh, I'm gonna try and drill these suckers out, and then put in a quarter twenty tap into each one of them, so I can put the uh, things back in their old locations. I mean, by the time I go through the plate, the washer, and everything, it probably will be okay. I need to be a little deeper. So what are you doing now? Chasing the threads. When I drilled it out, it kind of... Actually, uh, so you're making new threads? Uh, I'm revealing the old threads and cleaning them up a little bit. The, uh, the broke off bolt piece basically crumbled and the new bronze revealed itself. So I just chased the threads, they look pretty good. You can probably zoom in on this hole if you'd like. New threads. Ta da! So when I lay this out. 
So we're going to use the old bronze piece because the holes fit, but the gasket holes don't line up. Yeah, if I would have tapped the holes in here to make new threads in a different location, it wouldn't work. It probably wouldn't have worked as, as easily. Two holes. Let me see how it's done. So what's that stuff? Just a little anti seize. We'll just keep this thing from welding itself to the uh, bronze. Try not to strip them out. Yeah, please. Yeah. So the new gasket doesn't diaphragm. Quite, oh, diaphragm doesn't quite match the old one. So this one's got a hole and four bolt holes. I gotta punch two holes. And, and trim the inner ring out. A real expensive diaphragm. I think this kit was hundred, like 180 bucks or something. Yeah, it was like close to 200. Yeah. Jesus. Thank Now, is it working? Yeah. Cool. Put your hand over. Can you feel it? Yes. Pushing out. Yeah. Yep. You can, uh, I can hear it slurping air through the bottom of my. There you All go. Right. This thing weighs a ton. Bilge pump. So, this is our big manual. It's a, oops, I'm sitting with sunglasses. Like we said, it's the Edson knockoff. This thing pulls some serious, I don't even know how much it pulls. It's like 30 gallons a minute or something bigger, something like that. You can hear it slurping. The outlet, which is that side, is gonna go to the starboard side and up behind this cabinet to a through hole that we're gonna install. And then underneath, is the inlet, which is going to go under the bilge, down next to the water tanks, which are under here, and then continue down into the bilge. To the deep end. To the deep end. We ran the hose up next to the water tank, secured it to the, uh, the bracing inside the hull. And down here, uh, I looked at the price of a one of those bilge pump strainers and I figured for about two bucks I could come up with a little metal screen and a lead weight from one of my free diving weight belts and that was version one then I added a little metal rod to keep it hang keep it sitting up off the bilge this thing's trying to focus yeah Keep it up off the bottom from sucking uh, sucking up against the side of the hull. So this goes down in here. Our plan is to come from the outlet pipe up underneath the floor. We've got some uh, permanently fastened floorboards in there that I'm going to have to cut through. Run it up the side of the hull inside this slide out uh, 
this is the basically the slide out seabird starboard side and I'm gonna bring it up through here and run it up the side and then oh dear lord I'm gonna have to cut a hole uh, through here bronze through hole fitting that will go on the outside of the boat and that's gonna go right there and that will puke everything overboard those they put some permanent stringers in the boat and you can see where the bilge pump is mounted and all up under there that's where the hose connects so all right so the next thing i did was notch out the shelves because they're removable so i still got to be able to access below there and the shelf is also removable there's where the moment of truth occurs when i punch a hole through the side of the boat that always makes me nervous and down here this routes up behind this uh, slide out drawer notched out the bottom of the permanent floorboards and routed the hose down to the bilge pump. Now I just gotta uh, force that sucker. perimeter to fill in the gap. I'm going to pop it in from the outside. So this through hole fitting is made for like up to a whole two and a half inches thick or something like that. about all she wrote. you over and over digging through this bin. <laughs> it's called the Van Dusen Organization Model. It's like the only freaking metric bolt. 